Let's go. The truth. Hey everyone, it's Bouncy Bob here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this wig. <sighs> I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> But let's get into it. The wig that I got is from Amazon and the company's name is Netgo and it was $20. And now for the long title that they named this listing on Amazon. Are you ready? Netgo, women's pink wig, long fluffy, curly wavy hair, wigs for girl, heat friendly, synthetic cosplay party wigs. <laughs> the chair squeaked at the end, that, did, that just made it weirder. Pretty much the whole inspiration for starting this wig was I wanted to do something with a cheap Amazon wig, but then I was like, oh my god, oh, zero two, I wanted to do this cosplay anyway. I bought two of these wigs, and this wig is going to be used for its wefts. Um, and so I'm demonstrating how I styled the first wig when I got it. And what I do is I turn my hot water on all the way, all the way that it can go. Um, if you have very, very hot water, like hot faucet water, I recommend just testing before. As you can see, this did work a little bit with just the hot tap water. My water doesn't get super hot, but yes, I do recommend every time you put hotter water on it, test it on a spot like under the neck so you know. Since that didn't work, I went and heated up some water in a kettle and I would pour it in a cup before and then I tested a little strip and then I would just pour it on because might as well just go for it, am I right? Even this wasn't hot enough for this and if you saw on the bag earlier, it said 20 degrees Celsius. 20 Celsius is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not like super hot. Yeah, you could probably use a flat iron on this wig if you wanted to straighten it. I just wanted to show you guys a few methods that you can use for synthetic wigs that you're not sure how they handle heat. So these two are some ways that I've used in the past before. As you can see, it didn't work too well. <laughs> This looks like I'm brushing it out, like just tearing it, but I promise you it's, this wig is so silky. It was so easy for me to brush through it. So I promise you I'm not ruining the wig. It looks like I'm just going, but I'm not, I'm not. I promise, I promise you don't yell at me. You can see there that tiny piece that I missed in the front on both sides. I just completely didn't get two spots wet. I'm kind of glad that I did the water method first because it made it straighter so it was easier when I go to the next step. So the next method I used was blow dryer and I put it on my warm setting because the first time when I did this, I put it all the way on hot and it ended up melting some of the ends. It kind of like made them fray up and it was weird. Can I just say the footage for this is sped up by like 800 or something like that. So this is a very slow process. I. I did this while I was like watching Netflix in my in my room just like sitting there chilling at night. Um, here you can start to see how weird this wig was. Um, it's very uneven at the bottom. I don't even know how to explain it. It, it. it looks so weird, like half of it was higher than the other half and...
But yeah, that one scene right there, you can really tell how uneven all of these wefts are. And so that's what we're getting to next, is we're going to take out the wefts of this wig. And to do this, you can either use a scissors or you can use a seam ripper. I personally used a seam ripper because it was way easier to get it in there. Pretty much all you do is you go in and you take the thread that is holding the weft onto the wig cap and you just take it out um, be careful not to actually like cut the wefts because I did that a few times and I I didn't realize that it was part of the weft and I ended up breaking the weft to to start putting the wefts in I would separate it down at the bottom and I would go from bottom to top of the wig and I would just go in between each weft and I would add another piece. Um, here I am separating all of the wefts that I got from the previous wig and here you can see how strangely uneven they were. There's two that are like super short and then the rest of them are pretty much the same length but I use the short ones on the bottom. I use those ones first because if they're at the bottom, they're gonna be the same length as if the long ones are up higher, you know? Here is me in a very awkward angle of my face, very focused with a pin in my mouth. So ignore that. But all I was doing was there are, for this wig cap, there are like little lace ribbons going down the whole head. I would just pin them to those individual little lace strips and then I would sew it on to those. But when it came to the middle section that's not connected to anything, I would sew through it so it wouldn't just be hanging, you know? So if I brush it, it doesn't get like caught and then pull it out or something, who knows, you know? Hi, Lily. Oh, geez, chill out. <laughs> Guys, look it, it's my dog. To my dog. Oh. Oh. Find you a man who looks at you like Lily looks at me. I tried to get her on my stream. Have a dog cam. It didn't work out very well. I set up her I set up a bed for her next to my desk so that my camera would be able to see her. And she decided that she wanted to chill on the couch behind me. So I ended up having to like position my camera like my second camera over here. I had to tape it up and everything. <laughs> it was a good time. This is a very long process of me sewing. So sorry about that, but. <laughs> oh damn, what did I just put the whole thing of me sewing in here or what? This process of sewing all of the wefts on from top to bottom took me three days. I didn't get much footage of this next part. Um, what you can see here is I parted the back of the skin top. I sewed the front part, which you can see um, where the second pin is, like halfway through the top of the, the head is where the they separate. That's where I cut the wefts off so that I could sew them better on. 
but then I got lazy and then the rest of it I just kind of left the wefts underneath the skin top which I mean I kind of need it there because then the hair isn't as like thin um, and then came the process of having to straighten it again which I didn't completely straighten it as you can tell just from my webcam video here I'll probably end up going again sometime and like making it straighter but it doesn't really bother me because you know people have natural waviness in their hair zero two maybe maybe her hair isn't naturally just straight so now the fun part begins where we have to cut our wig and cut the bangs which is not my strong suit so i'm not gonna give like too much advice on this i try my hardest and i think it turned this is probably the best my bangs have turned out so i put on my shirt that is going to be my like casual zero two cosplay it's, it's like a little sw half sweater i got it from the junior section at shopco because they're closing it's like half it's like a half shirt so when i actually like lose weight it'll be cute <laughs> now here i am braiding up my hair to squeeze underneath my wig cap <laughs> Which can I sit, just say, this is not a very efficient way. I don't know. It's just very lumpy and large to me. If anybody has like a nicer way to do this to my hair and like keep it under a wig cap and it actually looks smooth and nice, please tell me because I need help. <laughs> but pretty much I just braid it a bunch of times and then I coil them up on my head. I have so much hair that it just it doesn't matter. And I think this wig cap's a little small, so that doesn't help. And here I am putting my wig cap on. I look crazy. <laughs> yes, I know, you don't have to point it out. I look like a potato. I'm sorry, that happens sometimes. Um, this is me putting on the wig for the first time after putting all the wefts in and cutting my bangs. What I do is I take a tiny piece and then I cut it to the length that I want. And then we'll just take it off and put it on a wig head and then even out the bangs. By the way, this method of me putting my hair in a bunch of like braids and pinning it to my head makes it very difficult to take my wig on and off. I need help, someone suggest something. <laughs> But yes, here we are, cutting my wig. I feel like I could go out to here more, but I'm also scared. <laughs> I'm very scared when it comes, you know, cause this hair can't grow back. This part's scary to me. I don't like styling wigs because I'm scared I'm gonna mess up, okay? I'm gonna mess up or something, I don't know. But also styling wigs is fun, so I like to torture myself. <laughs> this is where the thinning scissors came in handy because I could, be cut in a bunch and it wouldn't cut off a lot of hair they really really helped with making this look more natural i th i ended up thinning out the ends of right here and, and the bottom of the bangs and then i would thin out the sides right here a bunch so that it would be like more tapered Here you can see again how weird this wig is. Um, I went around the whole bottom and made the the front shorter, and then it would the back would be a little bit longer. So there there's like a bunch of random long hairs, a bunch of random short hairs. Like it doesn't make sense to me.
Now here I am again trying on the wig after I cut the bangs and this is where we start working on this little like swoopy doop. The swoopy doop we got going on right now, you see that? This is difficult to do in a webcam because it's like backwards. <laughs> this is confusing. I shortened my bangs a little bit with the thinning scissors and then I went in with got to be glued so that I could like get them to stay apart like this but I did go in and brush it so that, you know, it doesn't just get into a hard brick. Got to be glued. Best styling tool. It's a little spendy, but it's worth it, okay? I've had this bottle of got to be glued for years, for years. It's probably bad by now, but it's still, it's still going. Can I just say, I used that bottle to style my Sora wig, <laughs> which has been years since I did that cosplay. <laughs> Now comes the awkward part where we watch me like pose. That's my zero two wig and I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you have any suggestions on how to keep my hair under this wig and it not look lumpy, let me know down below. Any links that helped me while styling this wig, I will link down below. I hope you guys come back for my makeup video that I'm gonna be making and also with any work logs in the future on this cosplay or other cosplays. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Probably the most awkward thing I've ever done is have to pose because I can't even see the camera. Wow. So I wanna show you guys how I have this set up. Now I'm not terrible, I have a tripod, but can we just talk about how I have this taped up so that I can <laughs> see it? It was like, reflecting the screen so I could at least see what I kind of looked like. We're doing good boys. Drop it.